Electronic flight bags are something of the future. It's the future of aviation, and I'm here with Rowan from Oz Runways. Uh, Rowan, can you tell me uh, some of the advantages of using a uh, electronic flight bag? Good, Andrew. Um, the uh, advantages should be self-apparent. You can carry uh, every Ursa entry, uh, DAPS, and MAP in Australia in the size of an iPad. So for most people, it's a massive uh, weight saving. There's also a big cost saving in not having to buy all the maps uh, four times a year. Um, the safety advantages are also pretty apparent given that you can uh, fly around restricted areas much more easily and avoid airspace. See them as a big red circle, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Terrific. All right, well, I know you're going to give a presentation, but uh, can you give us a little bit more of a detailed uh, view of your application, Oz Runways? Sure, no worries. Let's go. Good, Andrew. So this is the uh, splash screen, opening splash screen of Oz Runways. Uh, if we tap on that and dismiss it, the first thing that we can see up is uh, the map screen. Uh, from here, we can choose to display any map in Australia. Uh, for instance, at the moment, we've got the Newcastle VNC. We can change to the Sydney VNC. And uh, we've got our own aircraft position overlaid, and we can see our position just up here at Bathurst. Um, we can also show you a whole bunch of other information, such as uh, Melbourne centre frequencies uh, up the top, and also the next frequency if we keep on going in the current direction. Uh, these boxes can be uh, programmed to display almost anything, such as UTC time. Uh, this is the screen that you do all the flight planning on. Uh, so for a simple flight plan from Bathurst to Tamworth for my trip back home tomorrow. We'll uh, type in Bathurst, Tamworth, press enter, and we'll see our route displayed on the screen. This is a screen also that we can bring up uh, and get your traditional planning screen, such as the tracks and distances. Um, and also see things like weather radar. Uh, moving on, we've got a scratch pad down the bottom left. Uh, this is just for writing down temporary pieces of information, such as the ATIS, in uh, different colours. The next one along is uh, airfield screen. This has got a list of every airfield in Australia. And uh, we can scroll up and down, or we can search for items in the search box. If we search for Bathurst, a list comes up and we'll choose the Bathurst uh, aerodrome chart. You can see also from this screen, all the DAPs have been geo-referenced, so we can see our position pulsating in red, uh, roughly in the clubhouse here. Um, most of the airports in Australia have been uh, geo-referenced. Um, um, that's, a, that's a work in progress. Uh, we're about 90% of the way through. Uh, from this uh, screen here, we've got all the other um, parts of Ursa. The most useful feature of this is searching for restricted areas. So if we type in Romeo 519 or 520, it'll jump straight to the page the restricted areas on and we can see uh, what it is. Uh, also included is uh, the full AIP, all uh, seven or 800 pages. And from here we can uh, jump straight to any index, such as on route 1.5 if you're an IFR pilot. This AOP is uh, actually uh, updated regularly, automatically? Yes, every, um, every piece of information in the app is updated quarterly, uh, except for maps, which are updated every six months. And it always displays the most in-date information. It doesn't let you view any out-of-date information. Okay, Rowan, so if we're going to fly uh, from Bathurst here out to um, Orange and then to your hometown of Tamworth, could you give us a quick uh, example of how you would plan that? Okay, no worries. Um, first of all, we'd bring up the appropriate map. So from the map screen, we'll choose Newcastle VNC, which covers Bathurst, Orange and Tamworth up here. Um, I'd use, to start with, quick plan from the plan button. Type in uh, Bathurst space Tamworth and press return. This will come up with a straight line between Bathurst and Tamworth but if we want to add orange in between what I'll do is just tap on the line and drag an intermediate point over to orange. Choose orange from the list and insert into plan. That's fantastic. Alright terrific and uh, can we see that in the traditional flight plan? Uh, no worries there's a quick button at the top left that will get, get us to that. Uh, from this screen we can change the altitudes, uh, for example 7500. And we can insert our own winds, uh, 250 at 15, and it will change your headings and ground speeds for you. This is a planning screen uh, to get a rough idea of how much fuel 
you're going to use pre-flight. We can also um, get automatic winds, which will download the area winds off the area forecast and insert those in instead. That's brilliant. Saves you a lot of time. So uh, if someone wants to run Oz Runways uh, at the moment, uh, what platforms is it supported on? Currently uh, iPad and iPhone only. Fly right, plane boy!